Hi everybody, welcome to TFT Tarot for Today, Divine Dabblings with Oberon and Banshee. And this is Oberon's outlook on the emotional exchanges. And that's for this week, for Friday, February 8th, till uh, next Thursday, that should be the 14th. And it's a uh, collective read for each sign of the zodiac, where I tell them what the prospects are for a good vibration or a bad trip, or maybe a little bit of both. So I do that by using the uh, final rose tarot, which is specifically for relationships and relationship-minded people. So we're going to give it a shuffle and get started right away. Aries. The producer, which is the magician, Major Arcana 1, reversed. So this is supposed to be your good vibration. This is probably saying that you're going to be actually lucky without really meaning to be lucky when it comes to relationships. It may be that the kind of things that uh, you're going towards won't really need um, expert levels of skill. And so this applies to relationships. So maybe that there's going to be a new relationship that really represents uh, something unique uh, for you in a sense that it's nothing you're really uh, prepared exactly to. And I don't necessarily feel this is a romantic relationship. It could just be a new friend. Now, for the ba bad vibration, I pull from the bottom of the deck. And so for Aries, you're, they're sort of mixed up in a way. This would be much easier to read the other way around. But for your uh, bad trip, it's the Ten of Cups, and it's actually upright. And it says, the proposal. So, of course, for us, we're not going to go with those specific ideas uh, from the game show uh, that this deck ties into. But we will say that this indicates... Uh, a level of happiness and so what the the bad vibration might be is that maybe we're not ready to accept that proposal that idea of total happiness that maybe we're we're thinking there's strings attached there's something not correct about this and maybe we're obsessing Aries if we feel that there's an acceptance uh, being uh, forced upon us or expected upon us in certain ways Taurus Taurus, you have the Two of Roses, which is the Two of Wands. And it says Date Card. So I think that's a prop from the game. But um, the idea of the Two of Wands here as your good vibration says, Taurus, as you really feel like everything is where you want it to be, like most things have worked out for you in the way of relationships, you feel mostly you're in control that you can really uh handle the business whether it, it comes down to you know suggesting you know dating stuff <laughs> since i wanted to tie it into that and then from the bottom your bad trip it's the seven major uh arcana seven the chariot it's called the limo uh, the bad trip could just be that maybe you are not going to be totally aware of what you're not in charge of, that you think you're really in charge of everything. You're ready to turn the key in the ignition and take off and go. Uh, so make sure you have uh, a map uh, or uh, essential items you might need for a, a trip, uh, a destination that you're going towards. Uh, but it may say that, you know, you have to make sure you do think of everything. All right, and then for Gemini, it's the Four of Cups, Four of Flutes, Reflection, and that's the Four of Cups, all right. So the good vibration maybe is that you feel, uh, Gemini, that you're able to really 
take time to make this consideration when it's coming to what's going on in your relationships, whether you're working within one or whether you're seeking one. Your bad trip is the king of wands. The executive producer. And the bad trip could be that maybe you're over controlling situations and so you're not allowing for spontaneity to happen when it's coming to things about uh, relationships. And so you may want to try to loosen up your energies a little bit and, and roll with some punches. You don't have to be in charge of everything, Gemini. So then we're on to Cancer. And Cancer is Major Arcana 9, the Hermit, and it's called ITM, In the Moment. And that's sort of a sense of uh, consideration, we could say. So the good vibration is that you feel maybe like Gemini's in a way, you can just really be reflective and you can really study, analyze, or uh, resonate to whatever qualities about uh, your relationship or about the relationship's goals or plans for the future or how that's all planned to work out. So good luck with that, Cancer. Now you do have a bad trip warning. And it's the reversed King of Cups, the King of Flutes here. And it says the single dad, but it's reverse. So how do I want to interpret that? As the bad trip, this just could be saying really that uh, there's someone maybe who has other things they have to care about. Uh, and maybe they're not necessarily doing a good job. You know, they're the single dad, but reversed. Maybe that's you. Maybe this is saying that you have to look at all the things going on emotionally, uh, how they resonate for you, that maybe there are some things that are just are more important for you to have to really take care of rather than what you might want, Cancer. Okay, back to fire signs with Leo. And you have the Major Arcana Justice, Major Arcana 11 Justice, and it says the hot seat. And... Leo, the good vibration perhaps is that maybe you feel you're in a position to really uh, make certain decisions, make judgments about what's going on romantically or within your, your love life or the love life you're trying to have. Maybe you're in a situation where you really have to see exactly what is what. And so you have to be a little judgmental to make sure you know that things are fair for everybody. Leo. Leo on a hot seat. Ooh. Okay. So then your bad trip. It's the reversed two of swords. And some kangaroos fighting. And it says two on one. Two on one. Well, it's interesting because it looks like one on one, but I get the idea. So the reversed... Uh, Two of Swords, as a bad trip, this is saying really watch where you're going, that maybe some things may open up for you in a certain way uh, in terms of relationships. Maybe if you have been fighting or arguing with somebody you care about or you're in a relationship of sorts with or a friendship, you just need to uh, be considerate of everything that they're going through, too, and take it a little easier on them. Uh, maybe you have been giving them a hard time, I suppose, is the possible impl implication here. So from Leo to Virgo, and the good trip is the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the camera guy, as we call him here. So the good vibration, I said good trip, but it's the good vibration. It's the, the Eight of Pentacles, and it's reversed. Uh, this could be saying really that uh, what is good here is that 
you will find opportunities really to make things better, uh, especially when it comes to your relationships. That if you've been working too hard to pay attention or if you've been uh, doing the wrong thing in sense of relationships, like maybe you're just always making assumptions or giving somebody what they don't really want or doing something for somebody that they don't really want or maybe somebody else does. Uh, you're going to figure this out, I think, um, Virgo. You're going to decide to not stress that and really, you know, do, do what a person asks. So from the bottom of the deck, the bad trip, <clears throat> it's the Queen of Swords. The bitch. And Queen of Swords is upright. Queen of Swords, your bad trip is that maybe it's finally time for you to make a certain decision that probably you would love to put off for a little bit longer. But you know that because this is really about setting things right, you have to do that. And I think that's what's the bad trip is that that energy you're feeling is really saying, I have to take care of this. So you will. So then uh, from Virgo, we move to Libra. And the good trip is the king of swords, the intellectual. It's upright. The good vibration. You will feel really wonderful about finally getting to the point where you can use your mental abilities, your logic, to make a good thing happen within the context of your relationship or friendships or things like that. It may be that somebody has really felt that they've opened up enough to you to trust you to make this decision. So Libra, and that's, that's kind of fitting, King of Swords, Balance, etc. Your bad trip. It's the Knight of Swords, reversed. It says the Meathead. I think we've been here before. The Meathead, the Knight of Swords reversed is the bad trip. This is saying don't make anything worse than you need to make it. That if in that first situation you have to make certain decisions and maybe that's a good thing, but don't go too far. Watch yourself. There may be a temptation, Libra, for you to try to overly balance the scale. So watch out for that, Libra. Don't be a meathead. And then moving to Scorpio, the good trip, the good vibration. I'm sorry, I keep saying that. The good vibration is judgment reversed. And it says, the rose ceremony. So it's about judgment. It's judgment. Um, and it's reversed. And maybe the good vibration is Scorpios will not feel the pressure to be overly involved in a certain way that maybe they don't want to, that maybe they can take the relationship as they want to see it, or the friendships or the situations that are involving that. You know, Scorpios, that does sound true. I know this because I am one. So Scorpios, what is good vibration for you is that things that you feel empowered to do one way or the other will be correct, no matter what this card really suggests to you, that Scorpio, this is about really finding yourself in a judgment-free zone in a way. <clears throat> so what's the bad trip, Scorpio? The bad trip is drama, and it's upright. It's the Seven of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, the Seven of Wands. And it may be that uh, someone, yourself even, will try to use some of these energies or these events or situations to make drama or to uh, make a show of uh, standing tall against obstacles. And, and maybe that's not the whole picture. So Scorpios, maybe you want to avoid being singled out in that manner. Maybe 
if we're talking about uh, these kind of things, you know, where uh, you feel there's there's judgments happening, just just go along with it. Don't go for the trauma. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you have the upright eight of wands, the leap of faith. And I like this card. Sagittarians, I think you're just feeling mostly that energy of the Eight of Wands, that in ro relationships, romance or otherwise, uh, it's really time for you to put a low energy out there and to move ahead, and you're going to do that. From the bottom of the deck, the bad trip. It's the Three of Wands reversed the next destination. It's reversed though. And the three of wands reverse may be a saying that not so fast. Uh, maybe Sagittarians, you have to look again at what you're doing. Uh, maybe in relationships, not everything is exactly uh, prepared for you, or maybe things will have to delay. Maybe things will have to focus and reprioritize. It could just be uh, a bad for your relationship this week. It could just be that although your good vibration is saying move fast, your bad, your bad trip energies are saying maybe if you move fast though, some things still need to be planned as well as possible. And take that for relationships. All right, so now we're going to go with Capricorn. And their good vibration is the Knight of Cups upright, the hopeless romantic, <laughs> the horrible romantic. You're vibrating to a very uh, possibly romantic or emotional vibration, uh, Capricorns. Maybe you feel you are moving towards something that's kind of epic in your life. Uh, maybe you feel that either in terms of a relationship you're hoping to start, you're moving exactly towards that. You're planning to do something maybe really romantic to kind of uh, bring that energy there. If you're already involved in a relationship, uh, it's either about taking it to another level or it's about really celebrating the relationship. Maybe it's an anniversary or something special to celebrate, but it's very romantic. It's very good. That's for Capricorns. I spent a little time there. And then the bad the bad trip you want to avoid if you can. It says it's the Page of Pentacles. That's the Page of Rings here. It says the Optimus. Well, why avoid optimism? It could just be that maybe there was something here that you didn't expect or you sort of expected, but you didn't think it was going to come this soon. Something like that. It's news. It's an announcement of something. It could just be that maybe it throws a wrench in your plans for some reason. Maybe something else is coming up. You're going to find out by message. And you will be pressed to try to be optimistic about it because maybe it does change those plans that were indicated in the previous card. All right, so now Aquarius, your good vibration is the Four of Pentacles, and it's upright. Four of Rings, it says. Possessive. So I think what this says, really, uh, it could very well be that uh, you find what you want, but you really want to hold on to it to the point of maybe you're being a little bit uh, overly possessive. I'm not going to say any more about that. I think that's kind of pretty clear in itself. Uh, Four of Pentacles, uh, you're not in a sharing mood this week. If you're already in a relationship, maybe something's changing and you don't want it to change. All right then, so uh, we are moving to the bad trip for the Aquarians. And it's the Emperor. The Bachelor. And of course, the Emperor really does say it's that control thing. It really, do, really does talk about the fact that maybe 
uh, with what's going on with that first card, the possessiveness. This is really saying there's a control thing. There's a bad trip about control for Aquarians. Uh, they may have reasons to not want to relinquish control, but it may really not work for their favor this week. And so when you combine that with the first card that's saying um, possessive, possibly about emotional things, this is really saying you have to take a good look because I think a big part of what the Emperor's energies are are also about seeing to the welfare of those that you govern. <clears throat> And then finally, we're on to uh, Pisces. Upright. Great way to end this out. Uh, for them, uh, it may be really uh, something very special could be happening emotionally for you. The sun indicates a lot of things. Marriage is one of them. Children is one of them. Knowledge, jobs, success, all of that. Uh, it's... Paradise. So what's the bad trip, Pisces? The bad trip is the Five of Pentacles. Um, insecure. So the Five of Pentacles could be saying that really what your bad trip is, that something happens and you really don't believe it. You, you sort of doubt it. And of course, we could say, well, maybe Pisces are like that sometimes, but... Uh, it's true, uh, Pisces will need some reassurance that whatever is happening with that first card, their good vibration, is really true. Otherwise, they're bound to feel that this is really a very bad trip. So that's what I had for the emotional exchanges this week. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next week. Don't forget to watch Happy Hour tomorrow at 10 a.m., and on Sunday, Banshee's Material Matters at 10 a.m. And then our live stream will be Sunday afternoon, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So that's it. TFT Tarot for today. Bye.